Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today we're going to be taking a look back at a replica of my very first gaming PC build. Now I've watched a few other TechTubers PC builds that they built late last decade that feature Core 2 Duos, 8800 GTXs and at the time would have been very good gaming PCs that would have cost them quite a bit of money yet would have been able to run all of the latest games at very nice settings. However, me being a budget channel, it's always been this way and back in 2012 when I got into PC gaming I had no money and had to work with a tiny bit of savings that I had on the side um, and I built this. This is an AMD A4 3300 based PC. The 3300 is an AMD APU that features onboard 6410D graphics which, to be very honest with you, are pretty terrible. Um, you could get by running a few games. I ran games like Fallout 3 at 1024x768 at around 30 frames per second, which, to be honest, didn't look too much worse than the PlayStation 3 version I had been previously addicted to. And a few other lightweight games also ran pretty good too. For the money that I had spent, around £120 or $160, on buying these new parts, I was pretty pleased with what I had come up with. Now, for these parts today, I paid just £30, roughly $50, but I'll put the exact figure somewhere up here. And for the parts like the hard drive, the case and the PSU, I already had those lying around. So this didn't really cost me much money at all. So the only thing left to do is to get into a few games, a couple of which I used to play all the time, like Fallout and Minecraft, and a couple of newer yet still very lightweight games in order to see what this gaming PC is capable of. If you actually go back to my very first videos on the channel, you'll see me trying to play Fallout 3 on this thing, as well as other games like Dishonored, Far Cry 3 as well, if you want to go and check those out. But for now, let's get into some titles and see just how well my very first gaming PC could handle games. So here we are in the games, guys and I thought we'd start off with Fallout New Vegas, a game like Fallout 3 that I played a lot of. Fallout 3 decided to fire up but then crash and exit so I decided to play Fallout New Vegas instead which should give you pretty much identical performance to how Fallout 3 will perform. Here we're getting about 40 frames per second on average at 1024x768 and the low graphical preset. There is a little bit of stutter here and there but it's nothing that I would deem too unplayable at this low resolution. Obviously with APUs they do benefit from faster RAM but I could only afford 4GB of 1333 MHz at the time. Next up we have Minecraft which actually runs very surprisingly well at around 90 frames per second on average. Having said that however, there is quite a bit of stutter here and there, with the minimum frame rate dropping down to about 21. Um, that indicates, along with those 0.1 and 1% figures on screen, that there was quite a bit of lag and slowdown, which may to some make the game seem unplayable, but to be honest, and way back in 2012 when I built this PC, I was pretty happy with this result and it really isn't too bad at this lower resolution either. So moving on to a couple of other titles here and we tried Rocket League, probably the newest game that we'll try today and unfortunately we hit around 20 frames per second on average with the lowest settings at the same low resolution as well. This result goes for games like Dota 2, League of Legends and Overwatch as well where you'll actually see a lot worse performance than this unfortunately. Having said that though, Counter-Strike Global Offensive actually runs okay at 768 resolution with about 30 frames per second. Now 30 FPS to some may not seem enough for an online game like Counter-Strike, but to me it seems okay, it's definitely playable and at the time I had no problem running the game like this. And finally we tried Oblivion, one of my personal and all time favourite games that I still play today, so it's nice to see that it ran pretty well on this system with 32 frames per second, which if I remember remember correctly is quicker than the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions even if the resolution is a little bit lower but I was pretty pleased with this performance at the time. Well guys there we have it this has been a look back at my very first gaming PC a system that really isn't that capable anymore and to be honest really wasn't capable at the time either. I hope you've enjoyed this look back and you could probably build a system like this if you wanted to for about 50 to 60 pounds if you were shopping around for used parts, way under 100 pounds or dollars anyway. But all in all, I wouldn't really recommend it unless you want something like a streaming build perfect for Netflix, watching HD movies, stuff like that, and perhaps a little bit of very, very light gaming. So 
As always, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like down below. Leave a comment as well because I love to try and read through all of them. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you guys in the next one.